the SME sector, they are encouraging the new government and, uh, to stimulate economic recovery through the strengthening of the small and medium enterprise sector, which are key to building the economy that is fair and just as they constitute sustainable approach to tackling the developmental challenge that the economy is facing. I have Femi Boboye joining me now on this discourse. Good morning to you, Femi. Thanks for joining us on Business Insights. Yeah, good morning. Thanks for having me. Yes, indeed, uh, indeed our pleasure. Now, Nigeria's small and medium enterprise are the backbone of the country's economy, accounting for 96% of the country's businesses, 84% of its labor force, and 48% of its GDP. What should government be doing structurally to encourage development? Yeah, uh, yeah I... Thank you once again for having me. And I think uh, it's important to read out all of these things. And uh, if you're talking about what needs to be done structurally to uh, address this anomaly and take on uh, the Atlantic and like inherent in the number of SMEs and their contributions over the years to the economy of this country, I think one of the first things that we need to begin to, to look at is the realization, what I call a national realization, that something needs to change. Uh, it can't be business as usual. We have to look at how do we do this business, then we can make it better. Uh, we also have to have an, a clear national roadmap where we want to go, that indicates where we want to go. Uh, the sectors that we have operative advantage that we want to focus on. And then we then need to begin to create new policies where we are needed, and then review existing ones to see where I just want to be. Because you must understand that business are, business is evolving and there are a lot of things are happening. Uh, and then we also have to look at the existing policies that we have, how are we implementing them? So we need to look at all of these things and see how we can adjust that. All right. Now. Uh, lastly, that I would like to add is before I, I will put up stuff, I think we now need also to get our physical and military policy right and ensure that they are in alignment with the goals that we are looking at for in this space of this excellence. Right, so these are some of the things that I think that we should focus on and look at, and this can actually help us to uh, structurally position the organization and the government and the country rather for, for a better uh, SME output and results for the general field of innovation. Okay, now let's uh, move on. Now, unfortunately, government funds meant to help small businesses often fail to reach their intended recipients. Instead, the government's SMEs programs often function as gateways for corruption either in the form of misallocation of resources for political patronage or as outright embezzlement of funds. How do we change this narrative? Femi, can you hear us? All right, uh, we expect to get um, Femi back um, online. Uh, we have been looking at um, the, the issues uh, in the SME sector in Nigeria because it is really very appalling to see that um, the SME sector drive the nation's um, economy. You know, it's about um, uh, accounting for 96% of um, general businesses in the country, 84% of its labor force, and 48% of its GDP. There are so many structural problems, and uh, we, be, we have to start to address all of these issues if we want to drive um, development in that particular sector. Because uh, the new uh, government comes in in May 29, and they need to focus on some developmental strides in the small and medium you know, scale um, enterprises and um, to ensure that um, we can actually uh, talk about growth you know, in the sector. Do we have Femi back? Hello, Femi, if you can hear me now. I'm let's sorry, just... I... I'm... Okay, let's just conclude right now. Let's talk about what the incoming government can do to drive SME development uh, in the short and medium term. Okay, yeah, sorry about the poor network reception. So basically, I think what the government needs to do right now, uh, first thing is to look at how can we begin to invest into training. Uh, because the majority of the people that are doing this business SMEs in Nigeria, one of the things we found out is that there's this huge knowledge gap that needs to be built, that needs to be bridged. And then you realize that there are more, even more essence, more entrepreneurs in Nigeria than a place like in the United States of America. Now. And that means that's, an, that's a plus. It shouldn't be a minus. Then we should now realize that what do we do to improve their capacity to do these businesses and run them effectively better than we are currently doing? 
and that is where training will suffice. Another thing that I think this government should look at is to encourage educational support uh, for these SMEs. Uh, another thing we also have to look at is the investment. And we are talking about the investment, we are talking about grants, loans uh, targeted at these SMEs. Also, tax relief that can help them more, take away some of the tax burden already on them, uh, which is one of the agenda of the uh, ease of doing business of the current regime. I think this is a thing that can also be forced to ensure that these are uh, these SMEs are better served. Another thing we also have to look out for is the policy review and revise that which I mentioned earlier. There's need for us to understand the trend, what is happening. Uh, with the way, because the way of the, the way business is being done right now is not the same to me. It was literally done some years ago. There are a lot of new instruments, new payment platforms that are coming up. And all of these things are, these are areas where young people are playing. So that means the, the laws, the regulation that, that will guide them to ensure that they do not just, and they, do, they are not only doing that to make profit, but they don't do that to arm the general public as well. So there are policies and that needs to be put in place. There are some that are existing that will work that might maybe need to revise. And then there also we have to begin to look at how do we um, look at DSP to support government interventions to ensure that when government is putting finances and funds into particular projects, right. for example, they are giving grants and loans. Is there anyone monitoring and evaluating it to ensure that businesses are doing very well? Um, All right, then, family, we have to let say, you go because of time. We have to let you go because of time. I'm afraid um, oh, that's you. all that we can take. But once again, we appreciate um, your inputs that you have brought yeah, on the show it. this morning. Uh, my guest um, has been um, Olua Femi Boboye, Managing Partner, Pels Consultant. And we have been looking at uh, you know, the small and medium-scale enterprise development and that uh, we are setting an agenda for the incoming administration come May the 29th. And that's the size of the show for today. I am Justin Akadonye. Many thanks for watching.